Hello and welcome to another update video about Polygon Matic. Um, I can only confirm what I said in yesterday's video that uh, for me at the moment this white wave count is the primary. Again, I, th I think it has a good chance to morph into different counts. Um, it, it just leaves a lot of room for different wave counts, this structure. Another one that I can imagine is playing out. Um, well, first of all, let's just do a bit of a recap on this one. First of all, you can see I've got a, a structural support area defined here on the chart, it's basically located between 68 cents and uh, 76. If we get into that region, you would expect a bit of a, at least a reaction. Then we just see where we are, yeah. Could get a bit of a reaction there, maybe even a bounce. Um, but currently I think we are in this C wave here. It looks like the C wave is an ending diagonal that um, after this wave one rally, which started between, well, happened between June and August, um, Matic has performed very strange moves. Um, I'm counting this as an A wave down, an overshooting B wave, and a C wave to the downside, which is unfolding right now. Um, this C wave, in my opinion, would be an, yeah, an ending diagonal um, with the wave one here. Yeah, wave two here, maybe now the third wave, then a fourth and a fifth. Obviously, there should be some support in the region already specified between um, 60, roughly 68 and, and 76 cents, but eventually it probably will move a bit lower, but certainly sort of into the 60 cent region, I would say. Um, it would not be bearish, yeah, would still be bullish. There is nothing bearish about this chart as long as we're holding 48 cents. That's the 78.6 retracement of the wave one. Okay, there you go. You can see it, 48 cents. Um, so I currently count all of this still as part of this larger wave two. Now, is there another possibility? Yes, we could say, you know, that um, we had here a wave one and then an A, B, C in a wave two, so that the wave two was actually here. And this is another one, two setup. But ideally, this doesn't go below 88 cents. And the structure, the subwave structure is not really, I'm not really, you know, this, the subwave structure doesn't really suggest that this is the count. Because um, the wave one, okay, is a bit choppy. And then, down, well, what would this be? This would be an A wave. And what is this? A B? Maybe a triangle? Or, you know, and then a C wave down, but a C wave would be too short. So I'm currently not really leaning towards this scenario. That's something, you know, this one, two setup scenario is something that I would observe much more and focus on much more if we turn around instantly here now and break back above the 119 level, because then we could say, okay, let's say we had a wave one, which topped here around 156. Okay, this could have been an A wave. And then maybe we're doing something like an, a B wave in an A, B, C structure, so A down there on the 10th of March, B up here, and then a C wave down. But again, it, it, it is running out of space, you know, see what the problem is. But yeah, that's sort of my view about Matic at the moment. Um, for now, I don't have any evidence that it has bottomed here at this stage. And by the way, if I'm looking at the C wave as a ending diagonal, then the third wave would be an A, B, C structure. And we can calculate the target for the C wave in that we take the length of the A wave, we go to the high of the B wave, and the C wave would take us to first of all, first target would be around 96 cents nearly reached, and the next one 82. I don't know which one it needs, okay? But I'd rather say probably the 82 cent level. Okay, that's my update about Matic. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.